We've got something new for you today. The family of electric e-bikes is growing. First we have the electric XP 2.0, a great budget-friendly e-bike. Then they made the light version, the XP Lite, which is a lightweight, even more budget-friendly. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the newest member of the family. The X Premium, the first mid-drive foldable e-bike that we've ever reviewed. And surprisingly, it comes in at under $2,000. This thing looks pretty sweet. It's pretty beefy though, so it's not as portable as the other bikes. It features a second battery as well, so you can get tons of range and a great feeling from an e-bike experience. Mid-drive motors have torque sensors. A torque sensor is gonna feel how much pressure you put into your pedaling. It's much more of an authentic bike feeling when you're riding a mid-drive motor. Mid-drive motors, they will typically sense when you stop your pedaling, so as soon as you stop, it's not gonna have that runoff that you see with hub drive motors. We'll find out here shortly if that's the case with the X Premium. Let's go ahead and start out with this cockpit up here. We've got the same display that you see on all the other electric e-bikes. Easy controls on the left side that you can just go up and down through the pedal assist. You have the seven speed Shimano trigger shifter. Also a half twist throttle on here. Just like all the other electric e-bikes, it does not have a throttle only on zero pedal assist levels. You have to go into one through five pedal assist to use a the throttle. They've used similar cable wrap on here. I'm not a huge fan of it. This is one thing that I do know that they're probably gonna work on in the future. Right here, you actually have the premium light that comes with it. It's not much brighter than the other light that comes on the electric XP 2.0. It just has a wider spread rather than a narrow one. Looking at the lights, you can see this is the normal small light that comes with the other bikes. With the premium bike, you have the bigger light, not necessarily brighter, just bigger and a bigger be uh, beam spread. We have this fender right here that's metal. I think it's a gorgeous metal fender. It's really high quality and it doesn't seem to rattle at all. You have 82 millimeters of suspension travel on the front forks. This is twice the mount that comes on the electric XP 2.0. So I think the electric XP 2.0 is about 41 um, millimeters of travel. We have the same tire that came on the original electric XP. This actually is a 20 by four inch fat tire e-bike. It's a CST BFT tread. Down here we have 160 millimeter brake disc with zoom hydraulic brakes. This is the first electric e-bike that we've reviewed that came with hydraulic brakes. The movement down here, this is one of the better designs that we've seen on this new bike, is it has the built-in battery into the frame. Here's the battery, it pulls right out. This one says it's a 48 volt, 10.4 amp hour battery. Not the biggest size, but pretty decent size. It's over 480 watt hours. Right here, it's very interesting. You have to drop the battery in. It's not gonna latch into place, so make sure to lock it. And then on top of it, you can pull the key out when you're riding the bike. The other electric bikes, the electric XP Lite, XP 2.0, you have to actually keep the key in it to operate it at all times. Where this one, you can remove it and it'll still operate. Then we have the second battery back here, a 48 volt, 10.4 amp hour battery. So they're the exact same battery size, just a different shape. Then you have the same foldable pedals down here. That's pretty amazing. They're metal. I love foldable pedals just because it helps save on space. So moving down here, we have a 500 watt mid-drive motor with a peak output of 920 watts. Pretty strong mid-drive motor. So I'm excited to test it out. This bike does have a shift sensor, it's right here. What it does is it can sense when you're going to shift, so it stops the movement of the motor that you don't end up breaking the teeth of the cassette. Very important with a mid-drive motor, not really needed on a hub drive motor because you don't have so much power going through there. So this does have a brake light on it too. When you go to the rear of it and you go to brake, it'll just start flashing. So anytime you brake, it's gonna flash, regardless of whether or not your lights are on. Let's see how this bad boy folds. Open up the latch right here. You can grab this handle and then it should just fold right in. Unlatch this handle on the top and it drops into place. Yeah, this one is a little bit beefier. This one is super easy. The beauty of these wow. foldable e-bikes is you just fold them up, stick them in the back of your vehicle, and you can go adventure. No messing around with bike racks or hitches or anything like that. Just uh, fold them, stow them, and go. This is a big e-bike. Even when folded, it's big. Here we go. That's a good looking e-bike. systems just feel so much better than hub motors. They just feel more natural. You don't have that delay, so when I go to stop, it stops moving forward. Where on the other e-bikes, I'll feel like I'm getting launched like 10, 15 feet. 
more responsive. As soon as you pedal, you can feel the responsiveness. And then as soon as you stop pedaling, it doesn't keep going. It's a comfortable bike. And the nice thing about this bike is some of the foldable e-bikes can feel small and compact. This feels really big. It's a big frame, big longer body. So I don't feel like I'm all crunched up inside of a bike. We're having a great time riding around on the Electric X Premium. The mid-drive motor is just silky smooth, something you can't reproduce with a hub drive motor. Andrew, what are your initial impressions? I like the hydraulic brakes built-in battery. The mid-drive motor is just a premium attribute that you can have on an e-bike. I like that they've upgraded to the bigger, fatter tires. It can take you on pretty much whatever adventure you want. And the, just the large frame. The large frame of this bike just feels way better than most other foldable e-bikes because they feel so compact. This one feels like a natural bike. Now it's my turn to jump on. While we're riding, we're gonna talk about the things that we don't like about this bike. Well, first off, I'll say, I do like that it's a step through. Scout, you do that one. If you've never experienced a mid-drive motor on an e-bike, then you're missing out. It is truly a premium experience. When you pedal, it senses the pressure, the torque that you're putting into the pedals, and it adjusts accordingly. So it doesn't matter what steepness of the hill you're climbing or what speed you're going. You just feel like you're, you have superpowers, like you're Superman. And uh, it's just silky smooth compared to the hub drive motors. We don't see very many mid-drive motor bikes that come with a throttle. This one does. Let's talk about what we don't like about this bike. Don't like the cable wrapping. The cable management is tight, it's minimal, but the cable wrap that they use, it's a little bit on the cheap looking side. That can be easily replaced. Going up hills, just relying on throttle alone, it tends to struggle a little bit. On flat ground, just using throttle, I'm able to go around 20. And then once I hit that hill, it kind of lowered uh, my speed. I was, I was going down to 16, 17. I needed to pedal to maintain that 20 mile an hour speed going up that hill. You can also unlock this bike to be a class three e-bike. So it can go up to 28 miles per hour with just the pedal assist, but the throttle only will only go to 20 miles per hour. One other downfall to this is the front light. It's the bigger premium light, but it's still not super bright. So you might want to upgrade to a different light if you do a lot of night riding. I wish the front suspension was a little bit better. I prefer the suspension on the XP 2.0 over this X Premium, and this is supposed to have twice the amount of travel. If you want the Cadillac of foldable electric e-bikes, something bigger and smoother with all the bells and whistles, then the X Premium is the way to go. It's the Ying to the XP Lite Yang, the low cost, no frills, lightweight foldable e-bike we recently tested. If you guys have any other questions, check out our full written review at ebikepedia.com. The brakes work well. Thanks for watching, and when you guys ride, wear your safety gear.